beautiful people, my name is Naila, your host for The Art of Living Show. This is a brand new season and we have something amazing for you. We're going to discover, explore and engage because one of the things we're going to do, we're going to take you to extraordinary homes, unique homes and the hidden gems that you want to call home away from home. I'm at the Wilson Airport, dressed to the nines, on a safari, ready to go to undisclosed destination with a private plane. I'm gonna meet my friend Lisa, who's gonna take us to this hidden germ. Let's discover, explore, and engage. Come with me, come with me, guys. Welcome. You welcome look to LS. Amazing. So do you I have to say welcome? You look beautiful. Ready for safari? Ready for safari. Can I give you a hug? Yes, of course. Welcome. I'm so excited about our trip today. So I are am. you gonna give our viewers a small snippet of what to expect? What I mean we're talking about the undisclosed destination. Well, all I can say destination unknown. Mm-hmm. Mm. A beautiful part of our country uh -huh. that has gorgeous savannas, mm -hmm. rivers, mm -hmm. waterfalls, mm -hmm. culture. Exactly. Yes. Are you as much as I am? Now you look amazing. You know you dressed me, and I look fabulous. I feel fabulous. I have fabulous. to say you are an ambassador to my brand. Thank you very much. <laughs> am I an ambassador? Fast. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I love this. So you do this yourself. You so, design this outfit yourself. I do, and I have a saying: when you go bush, you don't have to look bush. And we're here at ALS Departure Lounge, which has recently got its own um, security check, so we can actually board straight from this platform, oh. which is wonderful and very, very convenient. So if you go with a commercial flight, you would check in at their uh, departure. Yes. But you would have to go down to the main departure lounge which is where the general all check in and go through. Mm -hmm. And because of the times that we are in, this is so much more convenient, social distancing, and we have exclusivity. Beautiful people, this has been an amazing experience. The beauty about flying with ALS services is the fact that it saves time and it's personalized. This, because of this departure, as you can see, there was no cues. Hmm. I got my ticket. I'm going to meet the co-founder and chairman of ALS Services in his private plane and he's going to give us a feel and experience of what it's like to fly and to travel to your destination using a private plane. So this is what it's like to be on a private plane when you're traveling to your favorite destination. Yes, it is. Uh, the advantage of having uh, a, a private charter mm -hmm. in comparison to commercial flight is with the commercial flight, you just follow all the protocols, you just get on the aircraft, you sit, fasten your seat belt and go. Yeah. Uh, whereas with a private charter, you, things are flexible. As you know, we've taken your time coming in. Yes. Uh, you know, you get to know everybody that is there, and it's, it's more of a, of a fun trip. And then we'll fly down at low level, so you can also see the, uh, the landscape and the animals as well. Wow. And go all the way down to quarters. What is exceptional services that you, do you guys offer as ALS? The main business of uh, ALS is to provide aircrafts together with the crew, maintenance and insurance to uh, the NGOs. We are big customers with the United Nations, uh, World Food Programme being one of our main customers, International Committee of the Red Cross, uh, and we have aircrafts based all over Africa, uh, in Sudan, uh, uh, Congo, Somalia, Djibouti, uh, we have got aircrafts in Tunisia and also in, uh, in the Middle East. Uh, we have aircrafts based in Afghanistan, all working for humanitarian operation. In addition to that, aircraft leasing services also provides aircrafts to the airlines. We have been partners with Kenya Airways, providing them aircraft uh, to Mogadishu lately. And before that, we were partners in, uh, as, as, uh, under a brand name Interlink, where we ran a five-year operation between Nairobi and Nokichogia together with Kenya Airways. If I want to use 
this charter plane to fly to my favorite destination, I can get in touch with you guys. In fact, we got the added bonus. We'll have the air. Uh, we'll have the pilot with us on the ground. Okay. Uh, so should we decide to do any of the flying whilst we're there, oh, we yeah. can do that. Yes. Uh, you know, if we decide to come out, the, the flexibility with the charter is you decide when to go. If you plan to go, say, two o'clock in the afternoon, and suddenly decide, no, we're having such a great time, we're going to leave at five. Wow. You can leave That's at five. You know, yeah. And if I want to hire this. How much would it cost me? Well, the normal, normal rate, charter rate for this aircraft is $1,300 per hour. How do people get in touch with you or your oh, business? We have, we have a website, we've got all of our contacts and the rest, we've got a marketing team as well. Okay, so we can go online? You can, you can go online and you yeah. can make reservations online. Reservations. Uh, you have to, or make all the inquiries. Okay. Got that. So what's the website name? Uh, it's uh, www.als.co.ke. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Marco. My name is Lisa. Highly welcome. Santa Sana. To you guys. Thank you. Hello, hello. Thank you. Hello. Hi, how are you? Santa Sana. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. My name is Marco. Hello, Marco. You're welcome. I'm going to be a guy. Thank you. You're highly Thank you. Hi, you all look amazing. Hello. Hi. Hi. Naila, welcome. Thank you. This is amazing. Where are we, Lisa? Yes. I guess this is your favorite place that you'll be talking to me about. It is indeed. Welcome to Carter's. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh my god, we're in Cotters! We are at Cotters and welcome this Sana! Amazing. This place is special. You're gonna take me to a tour and help us discover this new gem. Absolutely, with pleasure. You have the best team here at your service. We're gonna show you the entire area. So Karibu Sana! Thank you, this is breathtaking, my goodness. Tell me, what do you really, really like about this place? I think it's just the vast, it's the vast open savanna. Look at this. Wherever you look around, there's nothing man-made. It's just nature, wilderness, God's creations. Which part of Mara is this, by the way? We're right on the border to the Serengeti, okay. which is beautiful. And you know, nature has no boundaries. Wildlife has no boundaries, which we're going to show you um, a unique part of Maasai Mara overlooking the vistas into the Serengeti. Yeah. which is very unique and very rare. Yeah. Let us go and have some refreshments. Yeah, this is beautiful, thank you. You have some refreshments for us. Yeah. So chilled hibiscus. Cheers, Naila. Cheers, cheers. Yes, welcome again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers to... Cheers to Maisha. Oh, son, Tony. Ah, it's so good to be back. So this is our little conservancy headquarters just on the left behind these trees. And this is a hangar for a gyrocopter that I used to fly. Then you can see the elephants have really hammered the trees around here. You can see the trees. So what are you passionate about right now? I am passionate about making biodiversity pay for communities mm -hmm. to first come out of poverty and secondly, keep biodiversity, elephants, lions. Tourism is just a means to an end. Tourism, the magic of tourism is about capturing abstract value and being able to charge money, wealthy people overseas, to come and, and help us secure biodiversity. That is my passion. Okay. To change how tourism works, to be more community and conservation, okay. actually actioned, not, not minded, but actioned. Okay. I'm part of the Masamara Wildlife Conservancy Association. I'm on the board. And our conservancy is one of 15 of those conservancies that are securing an area almost the size of the reserve itself through leasing land. Releasing land? We, le we lease land. Oh, hard, oh, you lease land? Hard oh. leases, yeah. Okay, okay. Long term hard leases. Okay. So there's a big, there's a big um, commitment that we have made to the Maasai. All right. And we just need everyone else in the, in the wildlife industry, you know, carbon, philanthropy. NGOs to understand that 
leasing land is the only solution. There's no other solution. Yes. You've got to make biodiversity pay. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And it's not about tourism. What's the most memorable experience you've had? What you have to know about walking in the wild is that the animals are more afraid of you. We are the super predator. Okay. And the only time that they're dangerous is if they feel threatened or cornered. Yeah. So to walk safely, you can clap your hands, make noise. This is what the Maasai do. Yeah. That's why the mama is 50 meters behind the, the mosaic when they walk. Yeah. You know, you've noticed that? Yeah. And they're talking to each other loudly. But I was walking alone. My idea was not to make noise. I wanted to see animals. And I came into a glade and I saw a leopard's How old tail. Were you? About 18. Okay. Still in Kijana, but I was fit. I could run. <laughs> and, I, and I saw a leopard's tail in the distance coming my way. Wow. So I have a choice there. I say, well, it's easy. I can just clap my hands and I know the leopard will go. Or I just leave it and, and see what happens. And of course, the leopard came up to the edge of the glade. I'm in the middle of the glade still. I'm dead still now. Because all animals, other than primates, see only movement. If you stay dead still, they will not see you. Really? Literally, they will not see you. Really? If you have very contrasting clothes, then they will, they will see you, but not see you as a human. They'll see something. Un but, but if you move, they'll fill the frame, and there you are as the super predator, and they'll run away. Ah. So I stayed still. And this leopard came to the edge of the glade, and she scanned, beautiful scan, looking for predator or prey, whatever. And she didn't see me, and she came Are right you past me. Serious? No right way! Past me here, here, here. No way! She didn't know I was there. You know, she, I was surprised she didn't actually come and sniff my leg as a tree. Were you because, shaking? Well, were you frightened? Afterwards, I was just trying to be still oh. because now I was within her flight distance. Every animal has a flight distance where she feels or he feels safe to turn her back or his back and run away. If you're within the flight distance, they'll come for you and scratch you, kill you, maul you, whatever. So I'm within her flight distance, Gosh. And, um, but no, she didn't come to me or anything, she just walked past. Kerry Bosana, I'll show you the way in. Okay. So we just set up a little surprise. This is breathtaking. This is what you do for your guests? Everyone gets the same Really? There's no, there's no difference. Everyone gets the same, the best we can give. So where are we now? Because so we drove through the suburb. We're inside the National Reserve, Masamara yes. National Reserve, okay. in this beautiful wilderness area. Okay. Um, and it's the, the south side of the, the Sand River, or the Alangayanets Alang River, and the Tanzanian border is a little wedge of beautiful country in the middle. Okay. And it's very private, and we help to sustain it to be private. Oh, you helped us on this? Yes, we do, because we lease the sites okay. um, to not be lodges and not to be developed. Okay. So it, it is wilderness. So all of this here today, after we're through, mm -hmm. it'll be back down to bush. There's been nothing left. Cold drink for you? Good life. People enjoy. People enjoy. This is your life. This is my life. What a fabulous it's, life. Uh, it's been a work in progress for 100 years, over four generations. The camp itself is younger than that. Okay. Because we've had many camps okay. throughout Kenya. Okay. Mobile camps, the first tented permanent camp in Savo, and then uh, Kotasmara, all in different places. All right. And what we learned is that if you keep on chasing the wilderness, yes. and you build a road, people yeah. follow you and destroy the wilderness by building next to you. So what we're doing here now is to protect the wilderness by leasing the land and controlling the narrative. Come, let me show you inside. Oh, let's see this. 
What a magnificent place that this is. Wow. Yes, it's... Oh, so much glam for a bush you know, camp. They call it glamping. Oh, glamping. <laughs> the, the, the interiors are designed for that 1920s out of Africa. So out of Africa. Exactly. Theme. Exactly. Oh, okay. We're not trying to be a boutique hotel. Yes. It's a, just an elegant camp with some personal, personalization okay. of the family history. So what informed your decision in coming up with this inspiration, look and feel of this place? So basically it had to have a certain feeling which is based on the true history okay. and a lot of it actually is our actual stuff like that. That typewriter and my great granddad's hat and the xylophone or the, the gramophone over there which I'll show you. Okay. But we also had to fill in space because now we're bigger yeah. than we used to be. Yes. So my business partner in the UK found a lot of stuff in, in uh, these uh, fairs and that, that where people sell old stuff yes. and picked up all this amazing stuff mm -hmm. and it was all before COVID. Like this is from the family. This is from the yeah, family? Yeah, fam you know, and there's a special table that closes up. And the whole thing twists around and closes up into a very small box. Into a small box? Everything is campaign furniture. It was all about campaign. traveling. Campaign. Cam campaign. It was the old ca war campaigns. Mm -hmm. The British would like to live in luxury. Mm -hmm. So everything was designed around closing down to a small thing, but opening up to be very comfortable. So this table is like that. Okay. You know, we try to get everyone to write in the book. Okay. So basically, let me, yeah, like flip it up and I'll... Book. Wow. It's pretty old, okay. but you know, How it's from, old is the book? Uh, it's from probably, look, but here's an example of a page. So clients come and they just draw and write at will, I see what it. they write. So some people do that, for example. Oh, lovely. They, they put Capturing their, the experiences. Exactly. They put their heart and soul into oh. expressing what they feel here. Mm -hmm. So you see in, in, in here, we, the walls are, are, are black. Yes. Basically, the, the, this is white, yes. and it's basically to give the same feeling of a, a members club atmosphere, smoking room, that ah. kind of feeling, because this actually does smoke quite a lot. Okay. <laughs> but the idea is actually to chill out here. You know, I love the fact that you're integrating people's lifestyles so that when you come here, mm -hmm. you don't feel like you're missing out on anything. You've got everything okay. here. Yeah. As cotters. We have to be an example of the way tourism has to go. Okay. And we did a lot of research on which organizations we could join with internationally mm -hmm. and to be part of that reflect our values and the way tourism is going to go in the future. Mm -hmm. Long Run is an amazing organization mm -hmm. which is based on the four C's. Mm -hmm. It's community, mm -hmm. conservation, mm -hmm. culture and commerce. Mm -hmm. So in those four areas, we are obligated in the system the long run system to improve every year. The whole camp was built with the idea of romantic, um, authentic, um, being close to nature, okay. being very beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is our one of our honeymoon suites. Okay and it's uh, really designed to have space, to have elegance. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's very romantic. Oh my goodness. You can goodness. see the bath out there. Wow. The chaise lounge. Let me see this. Yeah. Many a time we're sitting here. Yeah. And the baboons come and join us. Oh. <laughs> In the bathtub? <laughs> Maybe sometimes. Oh, wow. <laughs> this honeymoon suite has this permanent bath. Okay. But in all the other tents, we can do the bush bath. Oh, and the bush bath is bush. a canvas, it's like a canvas bath that they used to use in the old days before showers and all that. Yeah. Used to have just a canvas bath. It would be filled by hand. Very romantic. But look at this. This is elegant and beautiful. Yeah. My goodness. How, what inspired you guys to get this kind of a look? Um, because it's, 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 um, it, it doesn't take away from the fact that you guys are in the bush, yeah. but still is very elegant, yeah. um, sophisticated. Yeah. There's no cement floor here. There's no wood floor. It's truly a camp. Okay. It's a camp. This is a tented camp. Fantastic. And yet it's got the elegance of a hotel. Or sure. We designed our own beds. Uh -huh. And the important thing is, you know, the canvas, the, the, the mattresses are very, very um, comfortable. comfortable. Mm -hmm. The view out there is incredible. It's incredible. So spectacular. We're a Kenyan company. Okay. Entirely. 
and we are um, affordable. Okay. Within reason. Okay. Because it costs a lot. Okay. Because to keep wilderness, you look out the view, to keep wilderness intact, yes. we have to pay multiple levels of landowners, etc. Even the county government, okay. national government, tax, everything. So it costs a lot. But at the same time, we're very fair on residents. Mm -hmm. I would say we're middle level in terms of pricing and residence, but we, you know, our website is there, okay. www.cotters.com. Okay. Um, but at the same time, the internationals, the non-residents, yes. they will pay the difference. And a bullseye. Bullseye. Yeah. Bullseye. Dan. Getting the bullseye. Dan in the. Bruta. Twenty. I'm sure it tastes amazing. I share laying on the This is stunning. My goodness. I hope everybody else now can get a view of what it feels like to be at the quarters. Asante sana, umefanya kazi poa. Asante sana. Hata mimi nasema asante sana. Asholeng. Asholeng kana shai. We are not done yet. So much to see with the quarters. Until next week, see you just right here on the Art of Living show. I hope you've enjoyed the experience as much as I have. In the meantime, let me enjoy the sunset. It's breathtaking to say the least. <laughs> Yeah.